I'm your Matt Lachey community correspondent Colton Chavez and I'm speaking exclusively with one of the four survivors who back in early April were sitting right here outside of that barbecue place when police say a drunk driver swerved onto this patio hitting five people killing 80 year old Mary Lou Sharp. I'm speaking with a man that Matt Lachey knows as Butch, the person who loved Mary Lou and says was sitting next to her when tragedy struck. I looked up and seen a car. In the chaotic moments after a car came barreling into Butch Gay and four others sitting on this patio. And I ended up over there on the ground somewhere. In the mind of a 78 year old man who had just been hit by a car, Butch says. And all I was saying is, where's Mary Lou? Along with injuring four others, troopers say Mary Lou Sharp was killed after being hit by 24 year old Cody James Curtis, who has been charged with DUI manslaughter. The only thing that I actually think about is the loss of Mary Lou. Butch says the loss consumed him, even while spending over a month in the hospital being treated for his own injuries. She was everything to me. I mean, we were together 50 years ago and we split and went our separate ways and then she lost her husband and I lost Judy and I looked her up and found her in Ocala and I brought her back and we spent 15 years together after that. Butch says in those low moments after the accident, he leaned on others to lift him up. They put me in a private room to myself because I had too many visitors. People like John Petrus, who owns that barbecue place, speaking to me just days after the accident happened outside his front door. Uh, no one's going to let Mary Lou be forgotten. And Butch says he won't let this tragedy make him forget his love for Mary Lou. And everybody loved Mary Lou. Everybody. And his love for the island he will continue to call home. That's where I raised my son, my kids. And that's home. Reporting in Matt Lachey, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.